My name is Toji Uyama, 25 years old. I have a favorite hair salon. This is because there is a hairdresser whom I have been using for a long time. You ask for me again? Yes. You're a whimsical person, but I don't mind. That's her, Miss Giri Hara Kiriko. What would you like to do today? Leave it to you. As usual, you have no initiative. I trust you, Miss Kirihara. Honestly, her attitude to customers is surprisingly unsociable as a hairdresser. But her skills are genuine. A year ago, she was my first hairdresser when I made my first debut at a hair salon. I had only been to 1,000 yen haircuts before. While I was not familiar with and confused about what to do, she gave me a haircut that really hit my sensibilities instantly. Since then, I have been asking for her every month or two to have a haircut. What do you do? Oh, really? An instructor at a gym? No wonder you have such a toned body. Actually, I've been concerned about my stomach area lately, and I'm wondering if I should try going to the gym myself. Do you have any recommendations to lose weight? <laughs> and by the way, I am not good at machine gun talking like the other hairdressers is if to say silence is evil. It's not that I don't like to talk, but prefer to have a certain social distance. Okay, I'm done. Thank you very much! Oh, looks good as usual. Well, I'm going to wash your hair. Please come over here. Uh, yeah, the social distance may not be as good as it should be. Rather, it is far. I feel it very far to this person. Thank you very much. Whew. Kirihara-chan, good job. Senior, thank you. You know, he asks you for every time, really. Yes. That's very unusual. Yes, he's the only person who ever asked for me. Are you happy? Not really. You're lying. I can tell from your face. You're happy. No, I'm not. Miss Kusunoki is my senior. Unlike me, who hardly gets any nominations, she's the most popular hairdresser in this salon. Not only does she have a bright smile and skillful talk, but she also is a very talented hairdresser. No wonder she has so many nominations. It would be better to be served by this person than by a woman like me with a pouty face, usually. Since he has been coming over here for a year, why don't you talk to him more? I... I don't really want to talk to him. Ask him like, do you have a girlfriend? I'm not interested. I remember he wore a wedding ring once. Uh, what? You're scared. Your face is scary, Girihara-chan. Uh, up until now, Mr. Oyama has come to the salon ten times, asking for me. I check his left ring finger every time, but I'm sure there was never a ring on it, not even once. You're really concerned about it, aren't you? I just happen to remember. I think you should talk more. I told you I'm fine. I mean, if a person like me tries to talk carelessly, I'm sure the conversation won't continue and the atmosphere will be uncomfortable. It has always been like that. I have never been able to get a conversation going when I spend time with someone. I'd much rather stay the way I am than being disillusioned. Oh, Kirihara-san is off today? It's been a little over a month since I had my hair cut last time. I happened to have a sudden day off from work, so I decided to go to my favorite hair salon, but... Um... <clears throat> Miss Kirihara isn't there. <sighs> what can I do? Usually, I make a reservation along with Miss Kirihara's work days, but I made an irregular reservation this time. She was supposed to be at work, but she was suddenly absent due to illness. It is something that does not quite mesh. Oh, in that case, I have a recommended hairdresser available right now. What do you think? What? Our number one most popular hairdresser. A super genius who is always busy with appointments is available right now. She has free time at this very moment. You don't often get a chance like this, do you? Oh, but... You'll take it. You'll make a reservation, won't you? You should definitely make a reservation. I understand. I... I'll take it. Thank you very much. I'll be waiting for you then. 
It was so pushy that I ended up giving the okay. Oh well, it'll be fine. <laughs> I can have another hairdresser take care of my hair just once. And since she is introduced as the number one most popular genius hairdresser, I think she's good at what she does. All right, I'm a genius hairdresser. Did you say that yourself? <laughs> the person with exactly the same voice as on the phone was standing there with a big smile on her face. So, what's the story? What do you usually do, Mr. Kamiyama? Well, I work at the publishing industry. Oh, wow, that's cool. Is that so? What do you do on your day off? What are your hobbies? Do you have a girlfriend? Ugh. What a machine gun talk! Is this the number one popular talker's ability? <sighs> Not even a moment of silence. No, I don't think it's conversation, but more like keep asking questions. Why am I being asked so many questions by someone I've never met before? Hmm? I'm sorry I'm late. I came to work after all since I'm feeling better now. What? Huh? Kiri Harasan, you came to work. Is she feeling better? If that was the case, it would have been better to have her cut as usual. Uh. <laughs> oh, I don't know what's going on, but she's staring at me. Why? Why are you letting someone other than me touch your hair? Oh no, I shouldn't make eye contact now. What the hell is going on? Well, well, well. Don't be so angry. Kiriharachan was absent, so I thought I'd take her place. The senior staff member who is always full of appointments, you did for someone you don't usually handle? Or rather, Mr. Uyama is too. Why is he leaving the cutting to someone else when I am absent? Besides, unlike when I was there, he seemed to be having a lot of fun chatting with her. Oh well, it doesn't matter. You should thank me for that. What? For what? I asked him about his hobbies, whether he has a girlfriend and so on. I told you I'm not interested in that kind of thing. I did my best to come to work, but this is the worst. So... Hmm? That man's hobby. What was it? You're trying to take notes, aren't you? Two months later. I've got Kiri Harasan's appointment today, so I don't have to worry. Once again, I go to the hair salon. To be honest, the person who was in charge of my hair last time was perfect in terms of technique. But I still feel more comfortable having Miss Kirihara do my hair. I wonder why. She is certainly cold and unsociable, but at the same time, I feel more at ease leaving everything to her. I've been waiting for you. Oh no, her face is scary. Okay, please have a seat. Y yes Oh, what? She seems more unsociable than usual today. Or rather, angry? What would you like to do today? Oh, I leave it to you. Uh, I understand. Uh, 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 mm. Um, Kiri Harasan? Is something wrong? Nothing. Nothing at all. I see. I can't talk at all. My senior talked fluently with Mr. Oyama, but I can't at all. I wonder if it would be better for him to have her cut his hair. Oops. What? I'm very sorry. No, it's okay. Don't worry about it. According to Miss Kirihara, she accidentally cut off more hair during the process. After that, she did something to recover it. And as you can see, I ended up with the shortest hair in my life. Well, it's not so bad. That's what Miss Kirihara is all about. Well then, here's the bill. Yes, thank you very much. Um... What is it? The haircut was completely my mistake this time. Oh, so it's all right. I'm fine. I can't leave it that way. Then... Oh, I would like to apologize. Apology? Yes. What can I do for... anything? Well, even if you ask me to do anything... I'm not really losing anything. 
I'm rather satisfied with his haircut. However, not saying anything might not make her feel better. If that's the case, then maybe I'll ask you to buy me dinner. What? I won't say it's expensive, of course, but... Oh, if you don't like it, please tell me! I just couldn't think of anything else! Uh, okay. Uh. Zen, let's go out to dinner together on our next day off. Please tell me your contact information. Mm. Uh, got it! Kirihara-chan, good job! So... So? How was it? You talked a little? A date? What? We're going on a date! What the hell? What shall we do? It's not what shall we do. You did it! I mean, how did you manage to get that far? Yes, it miraculously turned out that way. I have a favor to ask you. What is it? Say whatever you want. Hair... My hair... Will you cut it for me? Then four days later... I think it's about time. I was waiting for Kirihara-san at the meeting place. It's been a while since I've met up with someone like this to go out to eat. I mean, I asked her out for dinner, but I'm surprised she said yes. To be honest, I thought she would refuse. I'm sorry to keep you waiting. Oh, Kirihara-san. Hi, how are you? Whoa. What is it? You have odd face. No, uh, I was a little surprised because I had never seen your hairstyle before. Is it strange? No, that's not. Then please don't stare at me like that. I'm sorry. You don't have to apologize. Come on, let's go now. Yes, you're right. <laughs> surprised? She has always changed her hair a little bit but the length has always been just past her shoulders. Well, I think it's fine because it's cute and looks good. Uh, gee... That hand... I want to hold your hand! All right, Kiri Harachan. Yes? Communication is not only verbal conversation. What do you mean? Hmm, body touch. Body touch? Yes. A human being, you know, a small body touching is much more effective than thousands of words to shorten the distance between people. Do you understand? What exactly should I do? Why don't you try holding hands? Hand? Yes. Is it alright just to hold hands? That's right. I understand. I'll try. <sighs> no, it's impossible. How in the world do men and women hold hands? It's impossible, isn't it? Hmm... Uh, uh, well, what's going on? Is there something wrong, Kirihara-san? It's always the case that she has no expression or doesn't say much. That is fine. In fact, I even think it's a good thing. Shh! What? <laughs> Gee! Where has this person been looking since a while ago? I think she's looking not at the front, but at me for sure. But her gaze seems too low. Oh no, I have no idea. Are my pants that weird today? Gee! Here you go. Oh, here they come. I've always wanted to try this restaurant every time I pass by it. I'm glad I came. Uh. Kiri Horizon. Uh, uh, I... I want to give him a bite! Feeding each other is already a standard practice, isn't it? Feeding each other? Yes, yes. You feed each other with the other person's spoon. It seems to be more difficult than holding hands, though. No, that's not true. It's quite easy to lead someone to eat with a spoon. Really? Please tell me quickly. Don't take out your notepad while I'm cutting your hair. You'll get your hair all over. I'll tell you what. First of all, you both order the same kind of menu with different flavors. Yes? Then, if you are eating the same food but with different tastes, you might be curious about the other one, right? I am not such a lowly person. 
Be lowly, be greedy, Kirihara-chan! I really wanted to have a chocolate parfait, but when I heard Mr. Oyama ask for it, I ordered a strawberry parfait. I need to ask him to give him a bite here at any cost! <laughs> Gee... Uh, huh? Kirihara-san, you're staring at me again. <laughs> Gee... Hmm? Huh? Could it be? Um, Kirihara-san? yes Perhaps you're more interested in this parfait? Yes, yes, I am! I am interested since I like chocolate parfait! Oh, I see. Then... Here you go! <laughs> hmm? Please eat as much as you like! Uh... uh okay... Huh? She looks really dissatisfied! Hmm... <clears throat> Both of us are silent all the time. I know, I'm not making it easy for him to talk to me. And that I have not broached the subject at all. I'm not sure what to do. I wonder why in the world I changed my hair to this style. Uh, Kirihara-san. Yes? Speaking of which, why did you decide to become a hairstylist? Uh, that's... because... It's magic that can transform people easily. Magic? Yes, a haircut has the power to transform a person's impression with just a small change. You can be the person you wanted to be. You can create the person you wanted to be or the person you couldn't be. Moreover, it is not eternal. And you can change it as often as you like, depending on your mood at the time. Her expression has changed. This is it. When she is cutting my hair, her face is always serious, earnest, and noble like a work of art that is not allowed to be touched. Even if she doesn't say anything, I can't help but be sucked in just by looking at her expression through the mirror. I have always disliked the dark, brooding mood I was in. But when I was taken to a hair salon for the first time at my elementary school graduation ceremony, I thought to myself, I can change so much even though I am like this. I had always walked around with my head down, hiding from people's gazes. But now I could walk with my eyes fixed on the front. All right. Well, nothing has changed in my personality at the bottom. Still, it's better. So, for me, it is a very special act to let me touch my hair or change my hairstyle. I see. In short... <laughs> uh... I really don't like the fact that you let someone other than me touch your hair. What? And you seem to be having a lot of fun talking about it. No, no, that was not... Are you sure? I was just in there because you weren't around because of a cold, and she recommended coming over the phone quite aggressively. She just happened to be available. I know, but I didn't want to. <laughs> That's why I wore my hair the same way as my senior today. Is that...? I can be the person I wanted to be and the person I couldn't be. Are you saying that you wanted to have fun talking with me today? Well, yes, that's right. Is there something wrong? No, it's fine. But it's no good. I can't do it like her just by changing my hair. You don't have to. Even if you don't, I'll be happy as long as I can be with Kirihara-san as usual. What? If I'm not, I wouldn't keep asking for you so many times, usually. I thought that Mr. Oyama was attracted by my convincing skills and had no choice to ask for a woman with such a pouty face. Please tell me if you are arrogant or condescending. You're very fond of things. You've known that for a long time, haven't you? Don't let anyone else touch your hair. I'm fine. I will not go on days when Kirihara-san is off. And... you can't go out to eat with other women either. Huh? Mr. Oyama, isn't your bangs a little shorter? Oh, you see? Actually, I cut it myself and made a little mistake. Hmm. What? I can't even do it myself? <laughs>